All right, we got first place, Crystal Beast. We got Adam here. We just finished up our big tournament, and it was a very well-fought battle. Uh, it was pretty close in the end, but uh, you, you uh, came out on top, and uh, we're very excited to see what you have going on and what you plan for today. What's up, guys? Uh, my name's Adam. I play Crystal Beast at our 20-man trophy tournament today. Uh, I won X1 after Swiss. I lost last round, then I won top four and finals. Um, it's really just like good stuff dot deck with a little bit of Crystal Beast, um, but it is what it is. I'll start with the monsters. Uh, three Pegasus, uh, just like the starter of the deck. Um, it's a body, it kind of just like keeps the deck running. It's really good. Two Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon, uh, one Cobalt Eagle. Just it's another type for if you play against there can be only one. Not even side there can be only one. Um, yeah, and just another four star to make rank fours. Uh, one Ruby Carbuncle, um, it's like a soul charge for the deck. Whenever she's special summoned, she just brings them all out from the back row, and LT OTK makes you make rank four plays, link plays, uh, it's really strong. And then for the good stuff parts of the deck, uh, three Fenrir, this guy like super carried me, <laughs> this guy's broken. Uh, oh yeah, and one Rainbow Dragon. Uh, you can't actually summon him, but you need um, to search an ultimate crystal monster off Zenith, but, or else you can't resolve his effect, so he's just kind of the pseudo Garnet of the deck. And then the other card that carried me, 3D Shifter. Yeah, this card's broken. I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, it just is what it is. Uh, it's all for the monsters and for the spells. Uh, three Super Poly, this card's freaking broken. I put this in like a couple days ago. I kinda wanted a card that just like, the card, the deck actually like does okay going second because um, you can break boards with some of your other spells. But this card is like pretty good going first. Like it's just like a trap and it's like really good going second. So I just kinda wanted that duality of a card um, that worked both ways. Uh, three Prosperity, by far the best spell in my deck. If this card ever goes to one or ban, like in Master Door or whatever, this deck is like freaking dead. Um, and then for the Crystal Beast cards, or Crystal Beast spells, three Rainbow Bridge, and not once per turn Rota for Crystal Spell Trap, that's pretty broken. Uh, three Rainbow Bridge of the Heart, this card has like three effects. It's a double summon, it's bounce, it's uh, Rota for more Crystal Spells and Traps. Uh, this card hard carries. Uh, three Awakening, this card gets Ruby from the deck usually, or sends uh, Salvation to search a field spell and a monster. And then one bond, a lot of people play two this card, but I cut it down to one just because after you resolve it one time, it's a hard one's turn, you pretty much are never gonna be able to resolve it for the rest of the game. Um, and I can search it whenever I want. Uh, it does lower the consistency of getting to Pegasus turn one a little bit, but I, I felt it was worth it. And then um, for a, another smaller engine, two Foolish Braille Goods, one Rainbow Bridge of Salvation, one Zombie World, one Necro Valley. Um, this just dumps this, this banishes, you can search any Crystal Beast monster in your deck, and then any of these field spells. Uh, it's like consistency as well as puts up a floodgate, so it's really strong, good versus thunder, not even bad versus tailorment, and obviously for tailorment. And for the last cards, Crystal Conclave, this is like, people call the deck Conclave Control, but honestly, I hate this card, I side this card out a lot. Um, uh, it can, um, special Crystal Beast from deck, if Crystal Beast gets destroyed, and then it's also a Compulse. And then two, uh, Crystal Miracle, it's just a Nomni Negate, uh, protects Necro Valley, protects Baguska, all that jazz. And then the extra deck, uh, it's not super important, but, um, it's pretty good. And shout out to Lazy Day T for making these cool tokens in Field Center. Find them on Instagram, they're dope. And then my two super poly targets, Garua and Swamp. Uh, Swamp was like super MVP, not only for super poly clearing boards, but then I just like turned him into a rank four. He was like super strong all day. Uh, Baguska, really good. You can end on Baguska, Necker Valley, and some traps. Uh, Zeus, Tornado Dragon. If you hard draw the Salvation, you can set it and, um, and then pop it with Tornado. Uh, the Utopia package, like I haven't, like before playing this deck, I've been summoning these cards since like 2016, but like they just help you get around like big cards that can't be targeted, and does a lot of damage, 5,000 is a lot into another monster. Uh, Abyss Dweller, uh, Exiton Knight, oh, these go with uh, Zeus. You put this over two any level fours, put this on top, attack directly, and then you make that four material Zeus. Uh, Cowboy, never had to make it for time, and then the Diamond Engine, really strong. And then the only Link monster I play is Win, uh, just for a card in my. Uh, side deck. You can also like randomly steer a uh, steal a Baron to Fleur if you're lucky, but it's just for one card in my side deck. And then for the side, uh, one Panker Tops. This card's super strong. Kind of just goes the friend rear, helps you break boards. Uh, three Abyss Stills. Um, against Tier Limit, I side out my D Shifters when I go first, and I put these in. And then even going second, they're, they're super strong, but I don't know. They can like randomly search the Zenith or the regular Rainbow Dragon if you want, uh, Magnum Mutt. Uh, but they were just for more tier hate and stuff like that. And then a third Foolish Burial Goods uh, to up consistency for when other matchups I want the field spell. And then the, the other field spell I play is Seeker Village, and that's what the win is for. Uh, Pegasus and Cobalt Eagle are wins, so you can make this, and it's a spellcaster with Seeker Village. And against certain decks like Runic, stuff like that, it's just an auto win, and you can back it up with traps too, but I never had to go into it. 
And uh, also, like this, the shifters kind of conflict with the foolish burial engine. So also, when I side out the foolish, uh, the, um, the shifters when I go first, I put in the third foolish burial goes just to up consistency, and then they'll no longer conflict. And then through cosmic, through regeki, just more board wipes. I personally don't like hand traps in this deck because I feel like you have to play so many freaking hand traps for them to even matter. Uh, besides, like super impactful ones like D shifter, and they're really strong all day. Uh, these are really good against tier against Solik. Uh, field spell. This was just for generic removal, like I don't know, a lot of rogue. I, I wanted to build my deck for because obviously you have a really strong chilling matchup with the field spells and the rank fours, but I wanted cards that kind of just hit a little bit of everything. And lastly, I never flipped it, but three Tikaboo, good versus sprite, uh, dragon link, whatever. Just again, just, or birds, fl foundry is just generic, um, generic flood, just to help round the meta. And that's it. That's my crystal beast, crystal beast deck. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Do you have any uh, closing thoughts or any uh, anything you'd rather change or just mm, anything in general? Nothing I really want to change. I'll give some shout outs. Shout out to the boys. Uh, my boy Randy, Chris, Alonzo, Cam behind the camera, Kevin, uh, yeah, uh, Zach, wherever you win. James, my finals opponent. He was a good sport, uh, even though we both misplayed, uh, but I still took it. And yeah, shout out to the North Bay Cards, uh, Waifu, Next Door Collectibles. That's my other locals. And that's it. Cool. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Perfect.